Know what's worse than a noisy party next door? One you haven't been invited to. But that's what happens for one member of the president's cabinet during the State of the Union address. As the designated survivor, they become POTUS if Congress goes up in smoke. The State of the Union address, something that's required by the Constitution, is an annual speech given by the president to Congress. As the title suggests, it's a kind of summary of the year that's been, acknowledging the challenges the country has faced, highlighting the administration's various achievements, and setting out some goals for the months and years ahead. If that all sounds interminably boring, well, it's not always a snore fest. Although several congressmen and women have nodded off in the past, looks like someone needs coffee. Since the 1980s, special guests have been invited to attend the address to be honored for their contribution to U.S. society. They include Rosa Parks, an icon in the early civil rights movement, and Wesley Autry, a construction worker who saved the man who fell onto the New York subway tracks. They are often given a rapturous reception from all sides, which adds to the sense of theater and occasion. And more recently, a representative from the opposing party gives an opposition response to the president's speech. Of course, the president loves that. Over the years, the State of the Union address has changed some. It's gone from a written document to a radio broadcast to a must-see TV spectacle watched by millions around the world. But at its heart, it remains the same, an opportunity for POTUS to communicate in person with all three branches of government and the public at the same time, even if one cabinet member isn't invited to the party. Why do you think the State of the Union address is important?